to The Buzz. I'm Wally Conway. Joining me on The Buzz today from Seven Bridges Heating and Air is Mike Call. Mike, welcome to The Buzz. Thank you, Wally. Glad to be here. Mike, I need your help in solving a problem. As a home inspector, we've been in more than 30,000 houses, and only two out of those 30,000 had a clean and proper fitting air conditioning filter. Share with me why that's so important so that we can get people to change their filters. Absolutely, Wally. So the main reason why you want to change your filter is clean air and not to cause a failure on your air conditioning. See, in, our, when in school, we typically uh, get taught about the number one reason why air conditionings fail is because of air flow and hence the filter. The filter is the number one cause of why things fail. And you want to change it once a month, no matter what. No matter what the filter says on it, 90 days, whatever, just do it every 30 days. You can never go wrong with that. And that's, that's why we uh, try to do that and help uh, customers um, maintain a knowledge of their air conditioning systems so that they don't have those failures. So in the change future. that filter once a month while they're writing that mortgage payment have them say, I can't afford a new heat pump right now. I think I'll change my filter and it may live forever. Talk <laughs> to me about filters. I see some of these blue filters, that cheesy looking blue that you can see right through. Why is it important that I purchase a quality filter rather than these junky filters? So if you can see through it, just imagine what gets through it. And what gets through it gets into your coil. A 0.042 inches of dirt on your evaporator coil can decrease your efficiency up to 21%. So to have a quality filter in there that you change regularly once a month is very important, not only to the system's performance, but to your health as well. When you talk efficiency, you're talking my language. Efficiency means I'm saving money. Yes, sir. And some of that savings I can use for a filter. That's right. Filters are some of the cheapest things around your house that you can buy to maintain uh, healthy living and quality uh, air control. Well, Mike, I'm committed to changing my filter once a month. I know that's not enough. How often should I have my home uh, air conditioning professionally serviced by Seven Bridges? Well, we recommend twice a year, which I um, have many different maintenance plans that fits everybody's budget. So if I can get in there twice a year, that actually gives us a good um, idea of how your system is performing over the whole year. And we not only just check things, we clean things as well. So we try to clean your coils in place, clean your condensing coils as well, which is also a neglect that homeowners don't... Uh, take care of is the outside coil and you always want to keep about 12 to 18 inches of uh, debris or bushes and any of that away from Let the outside breathe. coil because that's also coil too it has to breathe yeah. so a lot of people think of coils as just the indoor coil but you actually have two you have a condensing coil and an evaporator coil unfortunately the condensing coil is a non-filtered coil so there's nothing you can do about that but if you can uh, have a service guy like Seven Bridges come out and maintain your coils, then we can keep them clean throughout all year long. That's great. Change my filter once a month, service my system twice a year, and get a hold of Seven Bridges for that semi-annual service. What's the easiest way to get a hold of you, Mike? 904-210-7667, uh, or you can do a submission form on my website at www.sevenbridgesac.com, and I will be uh, in touch very shortly. Sevenbridgesac.com. Thanks, Mike. I want to thank Mike Call from Seven Bridges for being with us today on The Buzz. For The Buzz, I'm Wally Conway.